Okay, let's talk some Cardiff. And I have a feeling we may be in similar territory than we were with with Barnsley with this conversation. Um, Brownie, it's not going too well at Cardiff. Obviously, from a position of McCarthy coming in and a playoff challenge, um, tailing off last season, parachute payments now gone. All right, start. But six defeats in seven now. And um, even by his own words, I think, um, Mick doesn't quite know where to turn to. Um, Where are you now um, in general as a Cardiff fan um, with these first 11 games? And um, (laughs) the the next game being Swansea. Oh, stop it. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Talk to me about the first 11 11 first and um, where where Mick actually stands here. Well. Basically, uh, last season, doing that, uh, doing that uh, unbeaten run. I think if you look back at it, um, there were many games in which, let's be honest, we should have lost. Um, towards the end of last season, I think Wright didn't started to come on to uh, get onto the wall. We had many lone players, and this is a problem with lone players: is that you know you, you can't. You can't really forward think when you've got loan players coming to the end of a loan in the summer. Um, and the kind of way forward have gone from an attacking midfield threesome to basically looking at Everton 1995, dogs of war <laughs> in the middle of a park with 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 nothing. With not no no flight, no flight, and uh, as a result, Kiefer Moore is not getting a service in which he did last year. And this is another thing, uh, Benjamin. Um, against West Brom, and it was a horror show. I'll be honest with you, absolute horror show. He played five centre backs. He dropped a recognised right back, or what you would call a recognised wing back these days. He dropped a, a recognised left back or what you would call a uh, 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 left recognised wing back. But if you have in three dogs in the middle of a park, you need to have bombers going down each wing to get some kind of outlet. And he, by, by putting five across the middle of, uh, across the defence, he's taken away that option. Absolutely bizarre tactics uh, the last uh, two or three weeks. Interesting. So the first question that's popping into my head is, obviously, you were promoted um, in 17-18 with, you know, a quite direct manager. OK, Warnock is known for being able to sort of let flair players play a little bit more than McCarthy is. But but it was, you know, Gunnison and Morrison long throws and things of that nature. What is the big difference um, between a pragmatic side that literally finishes second and gets promoted under a Neil Warnock, per se, um, with a few of the same players still around, and what Mick is attempting to do now with um, Pack and Volks and, you know, the big guys, Flint and um, Morrison up from the back? What's the difference? Um, Two things, really. Players are getting older. And also, we can't hide from the fact that uh, Cardiff have three big legal cases on on their horizon. One of them is going to be sorted at the end of at the end of the year, apparently. Reports today, um, and that could cost the, the club upwards of thirty million. It really is worrying as a Cardiff uh, Cardiff. You know the uh, the case involving. Uh, Emiliano Sala, uh, that's coming up by the end of the year. And I just wish that Vincent Tan would would just admit at least part responsibility with the insurance to pay, come to an agreement, pay it out. You know, some people, money men, they're so proud, I think, but it's been going on 
They haven't come to an agreement. It's now going into the European uh, court. If we lose that, you're talking 30 million plus legal fees. Could be another 5, 10 million. <sighs> Incredible. Mm, so some off the pitch stuff um, going yeah. on there. Um, let's try and be uh, vaguely positive then. Um, <laughs> can you pick out a player or two who um, has carried their way? Obviously, Flint was I think, the top scorer in the whole league at, at one know, point. Yeah. Giles has put numbers on the board with um, assists. You mentioned the, the the dogs in midfield. They do give you some output. If you could pick out one player who has uh, carried their right, who, who would that yeah, be? Without doubt, without doubt, Ryan Giles. Uh, he's on loan from Wolves, formerly on loan uh, at Coventry and Rotherham last year. Um, I call him but a delivery deliver rule cyclist <laughs> on the football pitch, basically because he can deliver a pinpoint cross from anywhere. And if he continues the way he's going, then uh, not just Wolves, but I think England may well have a, a good, fantastic play on their hands. Interesting. Um, has there been a, a standout performance so far? Can you put your, can you put your finger on <laughs> um, any... Any one particular game? This may well be earlier in the season, I guess. Uh, yeah, and unfortunately, there's not many to uh, uh, to choose from. But um, given the recent form, I think that 2 0 away victory at Blackpool uh, really stands out. And I mentioned Giles' second goal. I really highly recommend people would would go and watch Kiefer Moore's second goal from one end to the other. Giles crossed it over and a bullet head out Kiefer Moore. Decent and, header as well, uh, wasn't it? Wasn't wasn't yeah. wasn't wasn't just to hit it on the head and in the net, was it? Guided it into the other corner. Yeah, and the build up as well. The build up as well. And uh unfortunately, after that game, things just started to go downhill, really. Yeah, absolutely. Um who do you think, and you can include the the management in this? I've got written down more needed, um, and that could be a key for more up top. Um, that could be you know wide players. Who do you want to see um, more from essentially um, going forward? If Cardiff are going to, you know, I'd, I'd improve say, their I'd output, I'd say Captain Sean Morrison. If I'm honest with you, um, he he lost a, a, a yard of place really uh, due to his age, but. His poor performances are coming at a time when the team really needs a leader, a captain on a pitch. When things are down, you know, rallying the troops, let's get going. When we go one one goal down, we really struggle to uh, uh, get back on our feet, really. And we, we, we crumble quite easily. Interesting. Uh, um, uh, Morrison's one who you would consider as being one of the more consistent players, not just at Cardiff, but as a centre back. Yeah. Um, one of the better centre backs in the division, in, in my opinion, I think. Yeah. It. Uh, he may be carrying an injury, but uh, if that is the case, the club should come out and uh, and tell the fans that, that tell the fans the truth. Right, you haven't got a lot of headroom with this question because I'm asking everybody I if I speak to you at Christmas, yeah, high, higher or lower. Cardiff currently <laughs> in 20th spot, so everything would kind of point towards if they play their form and you know their size and their yeah. squad talent, they would be higher than um, 20th. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be higher because by Christmas, I'm hoping McCarthy would be sacked and then we can have. <laughs> A proper manager playing proper football, not just 1980s hoofball, or or as Cardiff fans call it, mickball. It um it really is shocking to watch, honestly. Was he this bad at the uh, Ipswich, Ben? <laughs> I think I think we're gonna go into chapter and verse on this um over <laughs> on your channel, aren't we? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. there's a very a very kind of complex um story with Mick at Ipswich the the short answer is yes at times it was very functional 
not a good watch. I remember in particular, I'll tell this story on your channel as well. Yeah, okay. It's sitting at Bolton watching Mick McCarthy versus Phil Parkinson, literally just shouting at the sky because it was <laughs> so dull. I was, you, you, you know, where you sat there and you're freezing cold and you're thinking, what are you doing with my. What am I doing with my Saturday? There's a cinema just around the corner there. I could be sat in the warm with some chocolate watching a movie. You know, it's going <laughs> to be great. Um, but you know what us football fans are like. Yeah, but no, no in, in deference to Mick at Ipswich, the, the first part of it was brilliant. Um, and I suppose in microcosm in the short term at Cardiff, the first part was also brilliant. But yeah. obviously the, the first part of Ipswich lasted two, three seasons um, it did then tail off, but you can make lots of arguments at Ipswich that he was put in a position where um, the, the club wasn't well run and he was having to hold it together. And from what you're saying about off the field stuff, um, not that yeah. it's not being well run, but there is other stuff in the background. That... Oh, yeah, without doubt, without doubt. I've been crying out for Cardiff to have a director of football for many, many years because the oh, ownership... Mick, Mick, won't, Mick won't want that, will he? No, no, probably no. not. Probably. I, maybe I'm uh, forward thinking when uh, when I when I say that. But, well, um, who's, the, who's the guy he took with him um, from Ipswich, the recruitment? Uh, um, Dave, Dave Bowman. Um, I think he kind of operates a little bit as Mick's director of football, but it's a bit old school. He's more like a... Chief Scout, rather than you know, like, okay. you know, okay. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here afterwards. But yeah, um, <laughs> I will go on Brownie's channel and we'll we'll talk chat. Yeah, I look for, about really it. look forward to it. Really look yeah. forward to it. Can, um, uh... Listen, I've been asking everybody. I need a grade, uh, a letter grade. I sense yours might a be letter a, grade. A, a fairly a fairly low one. We won't let you go any lower than E. Um, but how would you grade the start of the season in the first um, 11 games? So for, A would uh, be the uh, lowest then, yeah? No, A, A would be the highest and oh, E right, would be okay, the lowest. Right. Try saying this with a speech impediment, but <laughs> <F>. <laughs> That's tremendous. <laughs> right? But X. Now, we got uh, we got Swansea now uh, next time up. If we lose that, it would definitely be a Z. A Z or an X. Not confident there. Um, Brownie, brilliant stuff. Um, give you, <clears throat> excuse me, give your channel a plug, and I'm I'm going to go on and um, yeah, no, try no, and no, calm no, you down a, a, me. about and, uh, me. Yeah, give, give your channel a bit of a plug. Yeah, no worries. Many thanks for having me. Congratulations on being a dad as well. Oh, thank and, you, uh, thank you very. There and, is more uh, important yeah. stuff than footy, isn't there? <laughs> it's football with Brownie. Football with Brownie. On YouTube, on Facebook, uh, come join the conversation and uh, let's chat. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Thank you very, very much, Brownie. And we'll we'll, no we'll watch closely <coughs> what's happening with Mick and with Cardiff.